What's going on YouTube? Welcome back to the Berg's Dip Reviews channel. My name is Andrew, better known as Berg's. Today we are dipping on some Skull Extra Long, or not Long Cut, excuse me, Skull Extra Crisp Blend Pouches. Uh, I'm so used to saying Long Cut that I almost said it there. Um, and before we go any further, why don't we take a look at the presentation. So the presentation you have on the front you have a yellow and green combination a pinch better since 1934 flavor flow pouches skull extra crisp blend warning label and then around the side you have the same kind of color scheme weighs 0.82 ounces or 23.25 grams tax class M US smokeless tobacco company Nashville Tennessee and skulls phone number and website um, and then on the bottom, you have sell by August 9th, 2015. Not bad. It is July 2nd today while I'm recording this. And of course, their phone number and uh, the code for the company. Guaranteed fresh. So, a little bit of story on this. This here in pouches is the first dip I ever had back in 2000, late 2011, I believe it was. Um, and Skull Extra was a new concept at the time. And my buddy Jason picked this up for me because I was well under the age of 18 at the time. And I, uh, I didn't like it then. And we'll see if I like it now. I already cracked it to demonstrate the size of the pouch in my video on Dipping 101. By the way, inside of the can says, thanks for choosing Skull. So... The first thing to note about this is it's it has a it has a distinct smell. Okay, it it really smells like I really don't know. Apparently, this is a combination supposedly never really officially confirmed of apple and citrus. Um, it it makes sense by the color scheme, but you know they're never gonna like say that officially anywhere but it 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 kind of does have elements of both of those it has a it like at first you get like an apple scent but then you get the citrus and it, it the mix of it really uh i mean I don't, I don't like the smell it reminds me exactly of what i had then and i've i've never even attempted to try these again because i didn't like them then um, it kind of put me off from dipping at first but uh, then I believe the next thing I tried was, I want to say Skull Snooze or Camel Snooze, and I really liked them. So then that kind of got me back into it, and then I started to explore dip more. But anyway, it's a brown pouch, moist, just like average dip pouches. You, I believe you get 15 with Skull. Um, but anyway, let's, uh, so pack a lip with me. You didn't see that. Um, so anyway, while that juice is up, if you didn't see my last video, check it out. It's, uh, Dipping 101. Um, I talked about different things, cut sizes, packing, uh, what, what you should start on. Basically, all the how-tos that you need to know to get started, um, I know for a lot of the regular subscribers that's already knowledge that they've learned over time, but I thought I'd make something just to help out some of the people that uh, maybe aren't familiar. So, uh, obviously pouches, pack and pinch fine, no problems there. Uh, the can design's not bad. Um, it makes sense based on the flavor, but that flavor, ooh, it, it brings me back. It, it's, it's nostalgia, but not necessarily in a good way. Um, I believe I am just kind of scarred for life on this stuff because of it being my first dip. A lot of people can't dip the first thing they dipped afterwards. It's just like a permanent 
bad memory. <laughs> but, um, and, and maybe part of this is because I don't really like Skull Apple and I haven't had citrus also since probably 2012, early 2012. That was probably one of my first long cuts along with maybe peach, but I did like peach. But anyway, um, it's really hard to describe what this tastes like. I mean, it does have elements of both apple and citrus, I think. Um, I've had apple much more recently than citrus. Citrus I had back then and haven't touched it since. Um, and apple, I, I gave it another try, but I don't really care for skull apple's flavor. It does uh, juice up nice and produce a decent amount of spit, but that flavor, man, it, it basically is a combination of apple and citrus. Um, and I, it just doesn't, it's not for me. So I'm a little uh, let down because I thought maybe it would taste better the second time for me, but, uh, and I did have the long cut, uh, crisp, I want to say a year and to a year and a half ago, and I didn't like it, but I didn't, I didn't think it was like this. And a lot of times you'll find that long cut and pouches have a lot of different tastes. Even when it's the same brand, same flavor, it just, I don't know. I think this it's hard to say because I'm not comparing it right in a row, but I mean, I'm not going to get sick on it or anything like that, but it's not very pleasant. Uh, yeah. <laughs> so if you were looking for an in-depth review on crisp, this might not have been the place to go because I, uh, I just have that bad memory, <laughs> but, um, yeah. If you, if you like apple and you like citrus, then I would try it. But since I don't really uh, put those, either of those dips high on my list, this isn't very good. This is probably one of my least favorite dips, along with maybe Grizzly Straight, even though I, can toler I could probably tolerate Grizzly Straight more than, than these. <laughs> um, and that's saying something because I don't like straight dips. But I mean, and and there's others that I hate. But yeah, this is this is on the list for sure. Um, sorry if I uh, disappointed anybody, but yeah, this isn't this is not good. So uh, before we go any further, let's do some shout outs. Sam D video full review: The Georgia Dippers, Outcasted Redemption One, Asshole Dipper, Chub Fucka, Priscilla Proud, Cope All Day, The Dip Man, Copenhagen, That Dippin' Girl, and Sardimer. Um, the rating on this, whew, I'm going to give it a 4 out of 10. That's pretty harsh for me. I usually rate things pretty good because I, uh, I'm i to the point where I don't really like... Like, I used to love wintergreen, and that was about it. And, but since I've been like making reviews and just trying all different things, I, I like a lot of things anymore. But this is, this is, I don't know. Give it a try if, if that kind of taste suits you, but I don't like it. I will not buy it again. I can tell you that right now. I may or may not finish these. And I usually finish everything, good or bad. These, I may not finish. So anyway, if you like this video, like it. Uh, comment, subscribe, follow. I'll see you next time. Take care.